Hello everyone. Welcome to How Much House for the Money. How's everybody out there doing? Did you have a wonderful Thanksgiving? Certainly hope so. Is your cup full of happiness or your glass full of gratitude? It's a beautiful day to view houses and we're going to check out some gorgeous properties in a new state of interest. So if you're new to this channel, welcome and you're welcome to subscribe and hit that like button and hit that notification bell because the house you're not looking for maybe in the next episode. So let's check out the properties we're going to view today. This one is gorgeous. This one is on a half an acre of land. Look at this beautiful place. This is $280,000. This house here is on a half an acre for $277,700. And this property here is on a quarter of an acre for $139,900. So let's check out some details as we venture into the beautiful state of Alabama today. So for any of you that want to move to Alabama, you're going to be living with around 5.1 million people. And for the real estate tax rate, we're looking at 0.36%, which is coming in lower than that national average at 0.99%. So let's check out some beautiful houses. So for any of you that want, maybe not so new, but you want the shiny factor, this episode would be for you. It's always fun to explore nonetheless, right? So we're going to check out this one here. This one's in Montgomery, Alabama on just a little over a half an acre of land for $280,000. So we check out Montgomery, Alabama on the map. We're in uh, the capital city, of course. And let's see here. We are right here on the map. So here we are below Millbrook and below Blue Ridge. We're above Rolling Hills. So here's Montgomery, Alabama on the map. So as we scroll out, we have Birmingham up here to our north. Greenville down to our south, and Troy and Ozark here. So we're in Montgomery, Alabama. And this one's at 1453 South Perry Street. Look at this gorgeous property. It's only been on the market for 15 days, and it was built in 1910. Look at this. Four bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, 4,302 square feet, and a little more than a half an acre. Let's check it out. Oh, this is be still my heart. <laughs> Wrap a pretty red bow around that and call it Christmas. Look at this. Beautiful covered entry here, side carport, walkway to lead us up to the entry. We also have a covered upper balcony there. Very nice. And look at this. <sighs> We're in Montgomery, Alabama. Look at the woodwork. Now this is character, this is charm, and this is move-in ready. Look at that staircase. Here's our covered entry with a beautiful brick patio space. Okay, so here's one fireplace. We do have some wallpaper, gorgeous hardwood flooring, radiator heat. Now, according to Redfin, the median sale price in Alabama right now for houses is, uh, let me see, $276,000. The amount of houses for sale in Alabama as of the last year uh, increased 14.5%. The prices went up 2.7%, and the amount of houses that have sold in Alabama uh, also increased 7.7%, and they're typically on the market for 53 days, according to Redfin. And we're looking at 280 for this one. So it's a little above the median sale price. However, this is a very large house with more than 4,000 square feet of space. And look at the character. Wow, just continues on. Look at that gorgeous woodwork and pillars around that fireplace. That may be marble. Mm. They don't build them like this anymore, that's for certain. Montgomery, Alabama. So here we have a couple of little outbuildings. That might be a garage, gravel driveway. Do see some landscaping. Oh, this is very stately. Looks like we have a shingle roof with this property. Yeah, that's a garage in the rear behind this pull through carport. Two hundred eighty thousand Montgomery, Alabama, on little more than a half an acre of land. Plenty of room for a garden. Let your dogs run around. Very pretty. Brick courtyard is just so attractive, especially with a house like this. Pull right in and unpack your groceries if it's raining outside. And today it is 50 degrees and sunny 
and Alabama, and they're going to continue on with 50 degree weather through the week, unlike many other states that are just getting blasted with those white flakes falling from the sky. This is very pretty. So we have another patio out here with a deck space, open deck, uncovered. Looks like it might be fenced in. That would be a bonus. Beautiful parcel. For those of you that don't want any acreage, but a half an acre would do you, this would maybe suit your interests. Nice little outbuilding that you could create a studio with or maybe a little in-law suite or something, depending on the size of that. But seeing tiny house is smaller than that. Here's another view of the inside. The woodwork is amazing. Leave me a comment. Let me know what brings you to the channel. If you're new here, welcome to our community. It's always a beautiful day to view houses. Hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I certainly did, and I did stuff myself silly. It was really good. And for those of you vegetarians, the turkey thanks you. <laughs> beautiful property right here. Montgomery, Alabama. So if you want to live in the south, but not as far south as Florida, this might be of interest. Good size house here. You could totally share this with a couple of people and may not even see them on a daily basis. You could each have your own room with your own personal fireplace. <laughs> Do what you want with it. Always have the home inspections, of course. Ask how long the homes have been vacant. Ask about the utility bills. Look at the gorgeous cases on these fireplaces. They're beautiful. Covers, I should say. Trying some windows. Okay, now we're moving into the kitchen. Look at this. So we have ceramic tile for the flooring. We have a little portable island, double door refrigerator with an ice maker. We have another island here, flat top range, a lot of counter space. Trimmed in forest green. You can always do your own modifications if this isn't your style, but I've got the upper cabinets. Those are pretty nifty. Here's our green bathroom. Very clean, very move-in ready. We're looking at over 4,000 square feet of space. There's another fireplace. Home inspections will let us know if those are operating. Here's another bathroom. So we go from green to blue. Beautiful though, very spacious. We may just be getting tubs. I'm not sure if there's showers, can't quite see it. This could be a bedroom. Looks like there may have been carpet on the floor and they just removed it. And I think that's what we're going to see of this house. And there is another view of the exterior. This is just beautiful. 1453 South Perry Street, Montgomery, Alabama, 36104. It's been in the market for 15 days, built in 1910 with a one-car detached garage. And it says, located just blocks from the governor's mansion along historic South Perry Street, set on a spacious double lot with rear access from Felder Avenue, boasting over 4,300 square feet of elegant living space. And you also have an unfinished second dwelling for a potential independent apartment, which is fantastic. That adds to the value. 
This house has potent or timeless charm and exceptional potential in a prime location. And when we look at the history on this one, this one was listed in November of last year for $379.9. They decreased it to $359.9. Then they removed it, tried it at $349. Now they're down to $280 and it's 114 years old. Beautiful property. And again, the real estate tax rate is 0.36%. Look at our street view. There we are. We have sidewalks for walkability, of course. Look at how beautiful this is. Gorgeous neighborhood that we do our research when we're moving to new areas, new states of interest. Beautiful, though. 280,000, and that is a large house with 4,302 square feet. Nice. Beautiful. Okay, now we're moving into Ozark, Alabama. This is just as beautiful. Ozark, Alabama is in Dale County. Population was 14,907 people. So here we are in Ozark. So we are below Asbury and we're to the west of Mabson. So let's scroll out on the map. Here we are in Ozark. Montgomery is up here. To, so we are south of where we were in the previous listing and we're right above Do Dothan and Enterprise. And Andalusia and Evergreen are down here to the southwest. So here we are in Ozark. We're to the west of Abbeville and Headland. Ozark, Alabama. This is 421 East Broad Street. This is a five bedroom, three and a half bath house with a little bit smaller square footage, 3,294 and a little bit more than a half an acre. It's been on the market for 40 days, built in 1941. Whew, let's see what we're getting. This is beautiful also. Look at this. Brick beauty. There's our American flag blowing in the breeze. You got to love it. Cheers to that, you guys. Cheers to all of you. It's always good to be with you. Make sure you hit that like button and hit that notification bell because the house you're not looking for may be in the next episode. It's always so much fun to explore these gorgeous houses. Look at this. This screams Alabama. Gorgeous. A little more than a half an acre. Do we have some shrubs around the front? Gives you a little more privacy. Mm. Covered porch. Now we're moving on to the inside. We do have a hardwood floor with this house as well. A little darker as we see. Light bright interior. Way different than the previous house. Here we have our living room with our fireplace. This door probably takes us out to the patio. Another angle of the room. Good sized house, more than 3,300 square feet of space. Not quite as large as the last house, but good size nonetheless. Now the flooring looks lighter in these photographs here, so it could just be the photographs. When you're there in person, get down to the fine details and see what we're getting into for 277.7. Here's our kitchen, beautiful. So we do have Refrigerator, the range, white cabinets, black dishwasher, and stove refrigerator there. Nice elongated counter with a window above the double sink. Plenty of room for preparation. Oh, look at that ironing board. Here's our laundry room. Oh, full of character and charm for this one, too. Look at this bathroom. That's a good size. Lots of nooks and crannies. Here, another angle. Good size bathroom. Does have the window. It's a corner built in. Looks like we could move right in here. Also very clean, well maintained. A lot of history. It's the kind of house that walls could talk, right? And listing details are always found in the description boxes below. 
Here's our screened patio or our screened room. Look at this. Ah, oh, that just adds to the value as far as I'm concerned. Sit out there with our coffee in the morning, cocktails in the evening, glass of wine. Why not, you guys? We're in Ozark, Alabama. So pretty. So here's our second story up in the treetops. Another view of the living room. We have built-ins. There's the character. And again, they just don't build houses like this anymore. Let me know in the comments which one would you pick. This is very nice. These are some very nice properties that we are viewing today. These aren't fixers, that's for sure. But you definitely want to find out about the utility bills and, again, how long they've been vacant. But it's always nice where there's some longevity with homeownership so we can really get history from the sellers. Here's our staircase. Way different than the previous listing, but just as beautiful. Here's another bathroom. Here, this one looks a lot more updated. Very nice. Here's another view of that upper balcony. And there's a view. Wow, look at this. That is really pretty. Several tiers of outdoor balcony space. And there's our gorgeous garden. We could always manicure that, beautify it a little bit. And again, we're in Ozark, Alabama. A little more than a half an acre, a little bit more land than the last house. This is 0.56. The other was 0.51. But oh my goodness, it has a beautiful rose garden. Yeah, look at this. And there's another view. That is a gorgeous piece of property right there. 421 East Broad Street, 277.7 for this one. It's been in the market for 40 days. Built in 1941, and it says here, stately home might be the one, charming brick colonial, a must-see to discover the elements of the stunning two-story brick home located in the heart of Broad Street, timeless design as you step into the grand entryway with a beautiful staircase, original hardwood floors. The main bedroom suite was added in 1997 with a luxurious bathroom with a walk-in shower and ample storage in the large attic and a full basement and uh, oversized two-car garage in the workshop as well. Very nice. And when we look at the history on this one, this was listed for $399. In April of this year, they decreased it to 360. Then it was sold in August for 258,570, and then they listed it for 299, removed it. Now they're at 277,7, and it's 83 years old. And again, the real estate tax rate is 0.36 percent. Gorgeous property. There we are. Look at all those American flags. Nice. Must have been taken maybe during the holiday, maybe the Fourth of July. And there's our neighborhood with walkability. And again, we researched the new neighborhoods. 421 East Broad Street, Ozark, Alabama, 36360-2777. Gorgeous house. Now we're moving into Birmingham, Alabama. So for those of you that want to spend half that money, uh, this one is in the county seat of Jefferson County. So here we are in Birmingham. So we are right here on the map, Birmingham, Alabama. So we are north of where we pr were previously, Huntsville is up here to the north, and Montgomery is down here to our south. So right here in the heart of Alabama, Birmingham. And this one is 139.9. It's on a quarter of an acre, three bedrooms and one bathroom. It's only been on the market a day and was built in 1960. So let's see what we get for half the price. Even though these are the listing prices, asking prices, but you can always make your offer on what you feel the home is worth to you. It's after you have your home inspections. Okay. This looks very pretty. So we have a little bit of landscaping. We see it is brick foundation. 
nice staircase to get us up to the entry. We have a lower level here. We may not have a garage with this one. Again, it's 139.9. Quarter of an acre. Very pretty courtyard. It's our HVAC. Here's our entry. Nice little covered porch there. Nice hardwood flooring. Nice light bright interior. And it looks like we can move right in here as well. Very clean. Okay, those may be aluminum windows, but again, home inspections will let us know what's going on here. Living room. Okay, we're moving into the bathroom. Has a nice flow. Nice color palette. And here we have a medicine cabinet above the vanity. Nice white cabinets below. This could be a bedroom. And again, we're looking at 139.9. It did not open up the closet door, so we can't see the size of the closets. like it could be a larger closet with this double door there. Here's our kitchen. So not a huge kitchen, but it's there nonetheless. We do have black appliances. We do have a range hood. We have a window above the sink. That may be tile or vinyl flooring. Like a little U-shaped kitchen. Plenty of room to add an island if you wanted to bring this area out right here. And extend it off that counter and you could have some counter high chairs. No, it would be a little close to the doorway. Nice light and bright kitchen, very clean. You do have ceramic tile for your countertop. There's part of the brick exposure in the living room. That's very nice. This is in Birmingham, Alabama, 139.9 and it's only been on the market a day. Very pretty house. This one's very nice as well. Here's our basement. Looks really nice and clean. Great storage. It's nice when the basements have white walls. This really lightens it up. There's some storage area here. Great workspace. And here's another view of the outside, the exterior front. This is a very nice house as well. 139.9. And this is 6829. Exeter Avenue, Birmingham, Alabama, 35212, built in 1960, been on the market a day, 1,228 square feet of living space. And it says here, has some wooded privacy, expansive basement, ample size rooms, including the kitchen with a large eat-in area, lots of room for storage or finishing out the basement, basement, pardon me. And for history on this one, it was, let's see here, we've got a little history on this one. It was sold in 2000 for $75,000. Then it was sold again in 2014 for 625. Then it was listed in 2021 for 109. It was sold for 101 a few months later. And now they're listing it for 139.9. It's 64 years old, this property. So let's look at our street view for this one. There we are. Nice neighborhood. But again, we do our research. Kind of sitting up on a hill here. Looks like a really pretty neighborhood. 
And that's 6829 Exeter Avenue for 139.9 Birmingham, Alabama. Only been on the market a day. Very nice house. Or we have this one here in Ozark, the stately property on a little more than a half an acre for two seventy seven seven. Or this gorgeous beauty here for two hundred eighty thousand with a little more than a half an acre. Only been on the market for fifteen days. And that will do it for Alabama today, you guys. Wherever you are, hope you're having a fabulous day. And I just want to mention that it is getting very cold in the mountains. We have to continue to send supplies, clean, quality, warm clothing to the mountains of Tennessee, the Carolinas. The stories that I'm hearing on the YouTube channels here are just heart-wrenching. And we just have to imagine what it would be like to live you know, off our land if our property has been damaged. And we're just trying to do whatever we can to get back in there. And uh, so campers would be helpful, just warm quality clothing, propane tanks, anything that we can provide to help these people out because they're going to need help for many months to come. And uh, just check those videos out here on YouTube if you want, you know, if you want to explore a little bit more of the area and where to drop off this, those things. I know Swannanoa is really needing help. Um, Green River was another area. And I know there are churches and there are programs out there to accept these donations for our people in need. And so until the next state of interest, you guys keep those cups full of happiness. It's always good to be with you. You're welcome to subscribe to the channel and we will see you in the next one. More houses coming up. Stay tuned. Have a great day. Cheers.